So, um, my name is Bashir Abakal Adan. I'm the acting deputy director of state planning department and also the head of um, economic intelligence unit at uh, Plan and Budget Commission Kaduna. Uh, over the years, we've seen um, reforms, you know, dished out, you know, by technical support, you know, by Paul Ark um, in various areas, especially in governance. Um, so um, when we take, um, let's say, the local government development plan, you know, Kaduna State is the first subnational in Nigeria to really have a state a local government development plan. What we usually have is just state development plans across 36 states. So that's if you go to the local governments now, you see how that is translating into real development work. And at the same time, the support you know they are getting in, in terms of uh, their budgets, you know their plans and other stuff, the capacity in local government staff, it's, it's unprecedented across, if you compare them, you know, across the, uh, the nation. So that has really brought out, you know, um, capacity in the staff, commitment in the staff, and real development works uh, across the 23 local governments in Kaduna State, because every local government has its own development plan channeled to the peculiarities of the specific natural resources or endowment of, of that local government. So this is how, you know, Pearl over the years has uh, impacted and changed, you know, the narrative, you know, of local governance in Kaduna State. We also had the support of Lifters, which is uh, state, the local government, uh, physical uh, transformation uh, um, um, program which has also uh, we've seen the the kind of reforms you know the local governments are implementing in terms of physical sustainability and transformation you know in, in, in the local governments that has really improved in capacity that has really improved in um, um, processes and systems that has only uh, improved in in services dishing out like the procurement process has been strengthened the um, documentation and storage of 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 local governments and data you know has been has been strengthened you know their <clears throat> their capacity to develop a uh, well robust you know um um let's say um plans um the budgets that is in line with their community uh, you know, aspirations, you know, has been strengthened because one of the key DLIs of the local government, the, the lifters is community engagements, local um, town hall meetings, which local governments have to uh, institutionalize. So also the issue of payroll has been has been strengthened in that area. So there's been transparency in local government. So when you come to the state government, we had support to develop our state development plan we <clears throat> have the support to develop the sector implementation plan which uh, has linked our annual budgets to our plans so that's whenever we are implementing the plants we're implementing the local the um, the state development plans so that has really uh, impacted on the on the development of the state if you go around Kaduna state now you see how um, the structural adjustment and transformation in you know, Kaduna State, especially uh, in the area of investments, in the area of uh, education has improved, the area of health services, the area of everything that we dished out to implement you know, local, in, in the development plan because of the SIP, because of the support we have, that has been you know, achieved or about to be achieved. So um, the issue of uh, MIE, also is very very critical to so sustainability and uh, to see that uh, we are getting to where we're supposed to, to go so um, we've um, with the help of Pearl we've developed a robust um, multi-evaluation framework for the state which um, is one of the best I think in the country we have the eyes and ears uh, which is a result-based uh, MIE 
where we use um, apps you know and, and GIS to really track and monitor our projects not just the project but also government policies and how that translates into um, 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 achieving our development plans you know due to the outcome level you know of of the of the result result based um, MIE um, we we'll also see changes in the in the budgeting process where MTEF you know has been um, has been institutionalized and also before we finalize the MTEF we also have the engagement you know, of the citizens which is a critical aspect you know of carrying citizens along um, that has been institutionalized and that has been informing our budget so our budget has been in line with the MTEF although with small deviations but but still it's uh, the MTEF informs our budget every year we do the MTEF and um, before we do the we start the annual budget so um, that is the main um, um, aspect in the in the in the support we've got you know from Pearl Arc and um, one of the major things I really you know personally is the economic intelligence unit before Pearl, there's no economic intelligence unit. It is the Pearl that really supported and made sure that the economic intelligence unit, one of the key reforms initiatives of this government has been established. Prior to that, uh, prior to this day, we had the EIU under the state planning department, but Pearl advised the government to, to make it a semi-autonomous unit under the Commission Office for Sustainability. Well, the EIU has been getting support, countless support from the Pearl in terms of report writing, data analysis, data visualization, and uh, briefing notes and the rest, which has really impacted on policies you know, of the government. And it informs you know, the government's decisions uh, of key policies you know, of the state. So um, basically for me, that is what um, the Pearl Act has done. There's no state in Nigeria that has a working EIU like Kaduna State. Lagos State has been, uh, we've been, has been there before Kaduna State EIU, but um, I think now they are learning from us. At the same time, we've been to Gombe State to help them set up um, EIU based on the technical capacity we had. Uh, we'll be able to help them set up EIU, to teach them how to write reports, teach them how to do analysis and many other things. And if not because of Pearl, I don't think we'll be able to, to have that capacity to go to other states and really help them improve in, in, their, in their aspects. So uh, this is all from me. Thank you very much.